In this video, I'll go over taxi takeoff and landing for the Apache. For taxi, first, you can click this button to unlock the tailwheel. Then you can click this button to turn off the parking brake. Then to start taxiing, you just increase your collective a little bit to get the weight off the wheels, and you push your stick forward to start moving. And you can use your pedals to turn left and right. Now be careful with the pedals because it is a little easy to turn too much. If you want to stop taxiing, just pull your stick back and press on your toe brakes. Now let's go over takeoff. For takeoff, you need to make sure your tail wheel is locked. You could use this button, but I recommend binding this button because it makes it easy to lock and unlock the tail wheel. Right now my tail wheel is unlocked, but if I click the button, you can see it commands a lock. However, it doesn't lock immediately. You need to move forward a little bit for the tail wheel to lock. So after I've commanded a lock, I'm going to taxi forward a little bit and you can see the light has gone out here, which means the tail wheel is locked now. So next we need to get into a hover. Make sure you have the force trim up switch binded. If you hold the force trim up switch, it pushes this button here on your stick. So basically when you're flying, you want to hold force trim up, move the stick where you want, and then let go. The way you use the trim will depend on what trim setting you have. I made a video about helicopter trim settings in DCS, which will be in this playlist probably the video before this one. So to get into a hover, basically you just increase your collective slowly and you use your stick and pedals to keep the helicopter centered. Now on the pilot's monocle, there are actually some display modes for hovering. You need to have symbology select switch up and down binded. So if you press symbology select down, it'll cycle between the two hover modes. So the first one is just the regular hover mode and the second one has this octagon here. So the octagon is basically used if you want to hover over a certain spot. As you can see, if I drift off to the left, the octagon will move off to the right. But usually I don't care about the octagon, I just use the regular hover mode. So in the takeoff mode, you can see this circle and line. These show you where the helicopter is accelerating. So if you have these in the middle, it means you're in a perfect hover. You don't need to use these. You could just look outside. It's just they're there to help you if you want. So like I mentioned, in order to get into a hover, you just slowly increase your collective and use your stick and pedals to stay balanced. From there, you can take off by just pushing your stick forward and getting into forward flight. You can press the symbology select switch up to go into the other display modes. There's this one here with the dash line, and then there's this one which is kind of like a normal HUD on an airplane. But once you get some forward airspeed, you can pretty much fly the helicopter like normal. Your airspeed is on the left, and you can see your torque in the top left. Basically, you just want to keep your torque under 100%. Now, once you're flying the Apache, the main thing you want to do is make sure this ball is centered here in the middle. If you just fly the Apache perfectly straight, most likely it's going to drift a little bit. So the way you prevent it from drifting is you turn the helicopter with your pedal to keep this ball centered between the two lines. So since the ball is off to the left, I'm going to push left pedal a little bit. As you can see, I have the ball centered now, which means that the helicopter is not slipping anymore. Now let's go over landing. So to land, first you need to slow down. To slow down in a helicopter, you basically just lower your collective a little bit and pull your stick back a little bit. And then once you've slowed down, you can kind of land it like a helicopter if you want, like a runway landing, or you can just get into a hover and land from there. So I'm just going to get into a hover. and I'm going to slowly bring down my collective and touch down on the ground. And that is how you fly the Apache. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that I've noticed that compared to the other helicopters, the Apache is very sensitive and very twitchy. So it might feel a little awkward to fly at first, but eventually you'll just get used to it. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you don't want to have the iHads while you're flying, you can click the letter I on your keyboard and it will get rid of your iHads. And then you can bind this button on your stick. And if you click that button, it'll bring up 
your flight display, and if you click it again, it'll go back to whatever page you were on. But basically, you can turn off your iHeads and bring up your flight display, and you can fly that way if you want. Just keep in mind that most likely you will end up having to use the iHeads sometimes in the Apache, especially when it comes to weapon systems and things like that. The iHeads will be very useful to use. That was taxi, takeoff, and landing in the Apache. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.